Hey guys, go grab yourself a cup of your favorite tea and let me know what you're having because it is tea time. As always, posted a photo on Instagram and asked you guys to send me any questions you may have and I'm going to answer a bunch of them today. So I'm just going to jump straight into it. Air Sossegren asks, what new projects are you planning for 2016? I have some exciting things planned. I'm especially planning some really big, um, exciting things for my second channel. Lady the Gentleman asks, what is your number one thing that helps you de-stress? I love any type of kind of repetitive manual labor. So I love knitting and crochet and I love drawing is not necessarily very repetitive, but just anything that I can do with my hands and I don't really have to think about anymore, that really helps me relax and I love doing that. Yeah, just really allowing my mind to switch off for a little bit. It's Han J asks, when are you gonna get married with your awesome boyfriend? Whenever we decide that it is time to get married, <laughs> which probably won't be anytime soon. Noemi asks, what advice can you give someone who's going through a breakup and just a period of sadness over losing someone? I'd say allow yourself some time to grieve. It is very important um, to deal with the feelings that you're feeling at the moment, but also at a certain point you have to say, okay, it's done now and try to get back to your daily life. Try to get back to whatever you felt passionate about before, activities that you really enjoyed, get together with friends, people that you love, and try to resume life as normally as possible. Yahiel asks, how do you make your tea? Do you use sugar and milk? And do you have a favorite mug that you use? I drink my tea plain, always. Um, sometimes when I'm sick, I will add a little bit of honey, just for, you know, health purposes but usually I just drink my tea plain and my favorite mug is actually this one the tea time with loopsy mug <laughs> tally sweets 05 asks what is your favorite among all of your beauty beacon looks oh that's a really difficult question there have been some that I've really liked but I think my absolute favorite has been Marie Antoinette I've just really I've developed a soft spot in my heart for 18th century hairstyling and that one I just really love doing. So I think, I think that's my favorite. Lily Siv asks, as you just rearranged your room, loving the new arrangement by the way, thanks. <laughs> I would like to ask if you have any tips in how to find inspiration for decorating. Pinterest. Go on Pinterest, make an account on Pinterest and browse the home decor section. I, that is honestly one of my favorite things to do on a night off. I just sit behind my computer and browse or on my phone browse through the home decor section on Pinterest and I love going there for inspiration, interior inspiration. Also, you mentioned that you, ha you have trouble fitting everything into your room nicely. For that, I can only say just try, try different things, try different setups, just place everything in the room and then see what works and what doesn't and rearrange the things that don't work until you find a whole kind of setting that you enjoy. Ronnie's asks, if you could only drink one tea for the rest of your life, what flavor would it be? Jasmine, green jasmine tea. Sacheri Makeup asks, if you had to choose eye or face makeup, I would go for eye makeup. I've pretty much only started wearing face makeup very recently, like two or three years ago, so I'd definitely go for eye. Jenna Lily asks, what is your favorite book? Oh, that's a really hard question. I don't think I can really point out one favorite that I have. At the moment, I think I'd say my favorite is Rogues by George R. R. Martin and Gardner Dozois. I've talked about it a lot. I really enjoyed that. It's an anthology. I really liked it. I love Jane Austen novels. I just absolutely love those. There's, there's a lot that I like. Oh, and I loved Harry Potter back when it was kind of happening. <laughs> Bricks UK asks, who are your current slash all-time favorite YouTubers to watch? So I think at the moment my favorite YouTubers are the Michelax. They are a family who vlog weekly and their vlogs are a piece of art, guys. It is incredible. Stefan, he edits the videos in such an amazing way. It is incredible. They have the most beautiful shots in there and they are just very pleasant people. I really like them as people as well. So yeah, I just, I absolutely love their vlogs and I look forward to them every week. Strassenköter Blond asks, if you could try any hair color or length in the world with the certainty that you can get back your old hair anytime, what would you like to try out? There are two things that I would like. One of them is super long hair down to my butt in 
a beautiful, beautiful ginger red color. I love natural ginger hair and especially kind of towards the darker side. So when it's like really that deep, beautiful orange that is so gorgeous. I absolutely love that. The other one would be a bob to about here with bangs in a dark brown. A dark brown is almost black. Amber C. McNamara asks, how do you cope with alone time and do you enjoy it? Now I'm graduated in my 20s, I find it can be a bit lonely. I am just naturally a person that really enjoys alone time. I need alone time. If I don't have alone time, I get really kind of grumpy and <laughs> I just, I love being alone. I've written a whole blog post about living alone and what I find that the biggest advantages are of it. Yeah, I just love being able to do whatever I want, whenever I want, make my own schedule, um, stick to it or not stick to it, depending on how I feel. Reading with Cats asks, do you read a lot? What are you reading right now? And which tea do you prefer, green, black or white? So let me answer the easiest question first. I um, think I like green or white tea the most. Definitely not black. Do you read a lot? No, not anymore. I used to read a lot when I was in high school um, and before I loved, loved to read, but then I kind of found it harder and harder to find the time for it. Now I'm starting to read a little bit more again, but still not as much as I used to or as much as I would like. Although I did get an e-reader for Christmas from my parents, which I absolutely love, and I have it here. This is going to make it so much easier to read because I can throw this in my bag and take it with me on vacation, not have to worry about taking piles and piles of gigantic books because I do read pretty quickly. Now I have an inventory of thousands of books with me at all times, which I really love. I am currently reading Le Conte de Monte Cristo. This came with a bunch of books kind of pre-uploaded to it and a lot of them were in French and I decided to keep the French books and try and read one just to see how good my French still is. And I am also reading something I also got from, for Christmas, um, Het Plein by Jan Willem Anker. This is a Dutch book about a guy that lives in the north of Amsterdam and he kind of, he looks out his window and writes down what he sees in kind of like a diary style. <laughs> my mom thought I would be able to relate to that since I used to live in the north of Amsterdam and I have to say I find it absolutely hilarious and it just reminds me of how glad I am that I don't live there anymore. Cherise Berry asks, are you still in the process of learning more languages? I remember you saying eons ago that you had a specific goal in mind. Any tips for someone trying to pick up a new language? Yes, you're right. I did used to say that I had a goal of learning 10 or 15 languages. I believe my goal used to be 10, but when I reached 10, I reset the goal to 15. I am not learning any languages at the moment. I have done one attempt at learning Gaelic through Duolingo, but I did like two sessions and I kind of stopped. I feel like at this point, there is no room in my brain for more languages, but I'm pretty sure at some point in the future I will pick it back up and try to learn more languages. Tips for people trying to pick up new languages, surround yourself with that language, read in it, watch videos in that language. Watching videos is probably the best um, thing you can do. Janina loves you asks, when was your last heartbreak in your love life and how did you cope with it? Robert is my first boyfriend and we're still together so I've never actually experienced heartbreak, knock on wood. <laughs> so yeah, I'm, I'm very lucky for that. Bo Riley asks, so how many languages do you speak slash read slash understand? I get this question every time I do a Q&A video. I know and can actively use um, Dutch, English, Slovak. I can passively understand pretty much everything in Czech and German. And I also can read with a little bit more difficulty, French. And then I also know, I guess you could say, I can't use these languages because they're dead, but Old Irish, Middle Welsh and Old English, I would know how to translate from a manuscript. So yeah, those are the languages I know. Swinging Soul asks, what animal would you like to be if you could choose one? I, um, I have rats and I have many times thought about how awesome it would be to shrink to their size and be able to join in their big pile of cuddles because they, for some reason, rats love to cuddle and <laughs> they just pile up in the tiniest little nooks and crannies and they lie there and relax and they pretty much just sleep all day and then they wake up and they play and they eat and then they sleep again and yeah, I think it will be awesome to be a rat. <laughs> Domestic one, mind you. 
So both Lamas Puck and Krisa Kolbabe have asked um, how far away I live from my parents and how long it takes me to get there. It's not far away at all. Netherlands are a tiny country you can get from literally from one side of the Netherlands to the other within three hours and it takes me about an hour on public transport to get from my house to my parents. Krisa also asks if Robert lives in the same town as my parents do. No, he lives in the town next to that. Okay, so I'm gonna stop here because I think this video is getting really long. Thank you for sending out these questions, guys. I really enjoyed answering them. I really hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos. I want to thank you so much for watching and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye!